Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana from Parachute.com. I was coming to you today with a quick uh, shopping haul. We had stopped by a couple of stores through this weekend. Um, TJ Maxx, Michaels, um, Hobby Lobby, and uh, Joann's, and also... Uh, Oh my God! I just uh, this stopped at Walmart, but I didn't get anything out of there that I wanted to show. I just um, got mainly food and stuff for the kids. They're going back to school this week, so I went ahead and stocked up in Dollar Tree. So the things that I got to, got for you today, I'm showing you is came out of Michaels. Um, well, the first items that I'm going to show came out of Michaels. The first item up is these cute Paris themed storage boxes. I'm going to use these to go ahead and store my um, sewing patterns. And so they already have the handles on them. I got a total of eight boxes. I needed um, six of them for my sewing patterns. And the other ones I'm just going to use to kind of keep the same theme of the room for whatever the other notions that I have for the uh, sewing. So I got a total of eight of these. I'm not for sure of the dimensions, but these are originally $16. They're $16, and I caught them on sale for $8 with an additional 20% off of the $8. Uh, the next thing I got was these here, beauties. Hold on, let me, let me get my receipt. Okay. Just so I could be clear from uh, what I paid, because I wasn't for sure, and I got two, two. Um, That's good. I'm glad. I mean, I was worried. Right, and I had housing and can get Peach's checkup and generally lived. Okay. okay. So and I have the, the vases that I had here that I'm about to show you next were um, actually 80% off on a clearance, I believe. But then somebody, so I have, oh my God, I can't even get it off of these here. Now I'm going to take the, the flowers or the plants out of it and just use the actual vases. But look at these things. These are so pretty. The, um, the camera is kind of picking it up. It's a metallic gold, I mean silver. It's not picking up the true color. It is nice. And on here, it looks like it was for $75. But somebody looks like they tore the um, sticker off. And the young lady went and looked it up. She said there were more, but she went ahead and gave it to me for $75. Um, and then 80% off of that. And an additional $3 off of that. So instead of paying $15... I end up paying only ooh. Let me see. Twelve dollars. The top item. So that ended up being a great sale. And I got two of those, one white and one silver, because they only have these two left in stock. So what I'm gonna do is just paint both of them again a metallic. So here's the white. Let me see if I can turn down this light because it's shining so bright. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so this also came from Michaels. Also, for the people who love to happy plan like myself, I got no nope, special ones. Uh oh no, where's my other Michael? Oh, because I got four boxes. Well, I got a total of eight. I went yesterday and got two, four from another Michaels, and they only had um, a total of four. I went to another Michaels and got another four. They had the Happy Planner Medium Disc um, for 50% off today, um, an additional 20% off. So I ended up paying, instead of paying, I think it was two, Two forty nine is what it would have been initially. I end up spending 
With her. Say I can trust uh, $2. So I saved 49 cents on that. And then because it is the new year and it's time to start doing your my budgets and everything, I got my Happy Planner budgeting. These were originally $9.99. They were on sale 50% off. Um, so I got them for four dollars and some change, and then with the twenty percent off, they end up being three ninety nine. I think that's what the coupon says. And I actually bought another one of these yesterday from um, Joanne's, and Joanne had to buy one get one free, and so um, I end up buying a the hole puncher so I can be able to you know do my own inserts. And the young man, they I had a fifty percent off coupon. And um, initially, he rang it up for. He's lying about so many things. Um, no, I bought the puncher, the 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 budget planners, and um, some sticky notes or something like that, all for the happy planner. And it was buy one get one free on the um, on the highest uh, amount or whatever it is. So he charged me the thirty dollars for the actual um, the punch gave me the, the this free and then took the 50 percent off the four dollar item i was like and then i was at the register i was like um first i started i said okay and then i started adding it up i was like wait a minute something's not right so i was like so what exactly did you charge what did you take the 50 percent off of and he was like oh it was only for the four dollar item i was like well no i wanted to use my 50 percent off for the more expensive item and he was like oh well because it was um the buy one get one free they only did it off of this item and i was like well honey you gonna have to see if you could uh reverse that transaction or credit that transaction back to my car so then he tried to act like he couldn't do it so i was like well you know what um i was like oh okay well do you have a manager and he was like yeah so the manager came over he, he was like and i told him what happened he was like oh no nah, he could do it i don't know what he doing so he went ahead and told i guess talked the young man how to do it and um he re-rang it up so instead of paying the initial charge was like 34 dollars and some or 30 yeah, 34 35 $36 and some change. It ended up being $26 because he didn't do it right. And I could initially did, I couldn't use my discount again for the uh, buy one, get one free. But why would you, being a cashier, I never had to tell them what to do with a, a coupon at Joanne's because they already know, like, oh, we're going to use the coupon here where you want to have to do t separate transactions, whatever, whatever, because they already know you in there to save your coin. However... I got these out of Michael's, uh, buy one, or uh, they were 50% off, which is the same as buy one, get one for innocence. Um, however, I was able to save an additional 20% at Michael's. And it looks like they're either discontinuing them or something, because like every Michael's that I went to, I went to another Michael's yesterday, the ones that I got the other boxes, and they hardly didn't have any happy planner stuff. I'm like, geez, and the same with um, Joanne's. And um, Hobby Lobby, like, are y'all discontinuing um, the Happy Planner? Because I even seen it at Walmart, and Walmart had the audacity to charge the, um, what was it, $23 for the uh, planner. And I'm like, you can get a coupon and get that on sale. Anywho, moving on, we did Michael's. So the next where we went to shop was at Hobby Lobby. This is still kind of on the, um crafting section so this here is a um like a paper punch or not a paper punch a, a paper cutter and it's just it was on sale well it was originally 11.99 and they had were running a 50 percent off special for the paper studio brand so i was able to get this baby for i believe 5.99 Yes, $5.99. And then I wanted a corner punch. Um, so I found this is the last one they had at the store. It looks like somebody opened it or maybe, I don't know. Somebody opened it. And then um, they taped it up, put it back on there. It was originally $4.99. I, get the, I got this one for $2.49 with the 50% off. All right. The next where we went is for my home decor. Oh. And then the next place I went was to Burlington. And I got picked up this baby here. It is a all-in-one mirror frame. However, 
I'm gonna detach the mirrors or the detach the frames and just make them single. Cause when I initially got it, I thought it was um, separate frames and it was for nine ninety nine. I wonder if he's a virgin. Stick with the Iglesias. I'm just going to be able to um, books. I don't want to be disturbed. I thought, but back to what I was saying. I thought they were initially two or four separate frames. And I was like, oh, okay, well, four separate frames is not that bad. It wasn't until I got home and took it out the package. I seen that it was all in one. But what I did do is I went to um, the Dollar Tree and I got, you know, four um, frames. And I'm going to just see if I can break it off and put the um, put them on, separate them and make them in, in, in individual frames. Okay, that was the only thing that I had picked up from Burlington. Well, I picked up some other things, but I ended up getting those for my daughter, so I'm, I'm not going to haul those. The next item up is from TJ Maxx. Um, of course, I shopped the clearance section. I got this nice little and sign. It's actually a bank, and I got it for four fifty in the clearance bin. And I was gonna put it here next to my um. Next to my chess pieces that I have sitting over there. So that I also got these really nice thick tights, the plush line tights. They were three dollars and ninety nine cents. These were not on sale; they were regular price. But I needed, it be, with it being winter, I needed some nice tights because kind of I really don't even want to wear dresses if I just have to wear a regular stocking. The um, next thing I got from <coughs> TJ Maxx is this curtain, not curtain, but this um, shower rod. They had it on sale for three dollars. Um, the reason why it was on sale because it was missing one of the um, the sections or the um, end pieces, oh, which is okay because I stopped at Home Depot and got the the, the rod for or the uh, bracket holder for a closet piece just to keep it on there so I don't have to worry about it. So I went and got this uh, plastic closet hole socket, these things here, and I'm going to just find a way to rig it on up there so it stays in place so I don't have to worry about it twisting and falling down or when my son keeps getting in my shower because he won't use the main shower. He always has to use mine, which is fine, whatever. So I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to try to find a way to get it to stay, you know, snug inside of here. If I got to find a, an end piece of something or something, but I'm going to put it in here and that way I don't have to worry about my shower rod slipping. The last thing on the menu is this beauty here. Yes. This is the faux mirror, faux window mirror. I'm going to paint this guy. I like the white, but I think I might like it silver better just because of that, a lot of things in my house is um, silver. But I got this guy for on sale on clearance, actually. For $13. I'm not for sure what the original price was on this thing. Because of course they. They uh. Covered the original price up. Which was fine. They didn't want you to see that you didn't really wasn't getting that much of a deal. Yeah so they really only gave you. $3 off on the clearance. So it really wasn't much of a clearance. But either way. I still didn't pay for the original price. And then I got my items from Amazon that came through. Um, I wanted to do me a floral arrangement, of course. And I knocked them all the way down. Give me one second. I got these from Amazon. These are the faux roses. Let me turn the light down. Let me see if you can see these. You see? It comes, they're all white. It comes in a box of 50 or a pack of 50. Um, as well as I stopped by the Dollar Tree to get some 
styrofoam so a floral foam so i can go ahead and stick it in there sit it in my vase and it you know sticks up the um sticks up uh poofy and then also i got the picture frame well i got some hooks to hook up to um keep my rulers in and as well as four of the picture frames the four by nine so i could use the backs of these for the picture frame that I got from Burlington that I thought was actually separate picture frames. So I did get the bling wrap. So I think, uh, let me see. Well, actually I got two of those for a dollar. So I can slide my uh, rulers in between there and they'll hold up. Ooh. Okay, I cannot. Oh well, I can't reach it. And then the last thing that I got was the what we were I was discussing ranting about <laughs> was the hole punch the 360 Happy Planner hole classic hole punch that I got originally for twenty ninety nine I got it on sale for um fifteen dollars maybe sixteen dollars I don't remember sixteen dollars because it was um fifty percent off of the thirty so yeah um. And then as well as the another budget planner insert and the uh, uh, sticky tabs that are the, what do you call them? Oh my God. Um, Post-its that come with it. Lord Jesus. Also, my, um, we're going to do a faux fireplace. I have this fireplace here um, and I'm kind of pan around. I don't even know if you can see it. No, you cannot. Okay. Well, I have this electric fireplace is sitting here in, in my underneath my uh, table here. However, I wanted it to go into my back room in my den and um, at, uh, recess it into the wall. So um, I've been buying the you know the tools and stuff so we could be able to do it. And plus, I like DIYing and crafting and building things anyway, so it was a good investment. So I went in and bought a Ryobi um, miter saw as well, so we could be able to do the uh, the framing for the fireplace. I have to go in and get the the wood and everything and do our measurements and do a draw out of it, but. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, I also got the bling wrap, but I don't have that to show from Amazon, and it was really affordable. But matter of fact, let me get it so I can show you. Here's what I gleaned from this little exercise in this utility, Beck. You were in no mood to write. And you need a new bed. So, hey, maybe you're enthusiastic, but ultimately empty and counter with that Warby Parker wearing mixologist could work to our advantage. Look at all this bling wrap. Oh my god. It's um 13 no 30 yards, I think it is, something like that, or 30 feet. It's either 30 yards or 30 feet. I don't remember. But it was like eleven dollars, nine dollars. I'll link the uh, the um I'll link it below where I got this from, but it was an Amazon seller. So these this came from Amazon as well as the um the floral sack or whatever i can't remember what it's called with the little flowers the phone flowers there you go the phone flowers came from amazon and i received those as well today so that's it thank you guys for stopping by if you like what you see comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next one have a good day bye